Choosing new glasses can be difficult. And for a lot of us, it's actually quite a painful process. And the reason for that is because we're scared of getting it wrong. So in today's video, I have five amazing styles to show you where you literally can't go wrong. So if you're apprehensive about choosing your next frame, there's no need to fear. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And when I'm styling someone, whether that's online through a virtual consultation or here in store, I always make it my mission to give them options that are outside of their comfort zone, that are brave and beautiful, but also frames that they're gonna be comfortable with. Simple, easy to wear look that you can wear to any different occasion, in any different environment, with any different outfit, and for a vast majority of face shapes, these frames are gonna be right for you. So we're going to work left to right, and we'll therefore start with the Reykjavik Eyes Elias. A lot of people are wanting to make the change from a kind of conventional metal or plastic frame to a super minimalistic titanium frame like this. It's a big trend at the moment, people going for minimalistic glasses that are still cool. And for me, Reykjavik Eyes encapsulate that as a brand pretty much more than anybody else. They make frames which are very understated, very subtle, but still look sharp and stylish. And the Elias is the quintessential version of that. It's not too square, it's not too round, it's not too big, it's not too small. And it comes in this lovely gray and copper colorway. The copper makes it a bit more distinctive, a bit more interesting. The gray is very neutral and will balance with any outfit. On top of that, Reykjavik eyes are always gonna be my go-to recommendation because they are the world's most comfortable glasses and also the world's most durable glasses. There are literally no worries with Reykjavik eyes. This frame is made from one piece of laser cut titanium. That's what makes it so incredibly strong and comfortable to wear. The titanium material it's made from is beta titanium, which is the same that they use in aircraft. So it's about as reliable a material as it gets. And because these frames have zero solder joints, they have zero weaknesses. You never even have to tighten up a screw because they are completely screwless. And that's why Reykjavik eyes, and in particular the Elias, is probably my number one go-to recommendation. But not everyone is looking for a titanium frame like that. A lot of people want the archetypal, classic tortoiseshell frame. And for me, Bart and Pereira are the masters of tortoiseshell. Their chestnut color for me is as tortoiseshell as it gets. It is just when you think of tortoiseshell, you think of this exact color. Despite the fact that there are thousands of variants of tortoiseshell, the chestnut is a Japanese acetate which is produced only for them, so no other brand has this exact color of tortoiseshell. And this model is the Gellert, although there are quite a number of frames within the Barton Pereira collection, if not every frame, that can be made in chestnut. But for me, the Gellert is the one that I chose because I feel like it perfectly summarizes what a tortoiseshell frame should be. It's classic, but it's not old fashioned. It's stylish, but it's not over the top. It's just, when I think of a tortoiseshell frame, I think of this. And speaking of the tortoiseshell, the glossiness of the material really helps those blonde highlights within the material to really shine out, and I love that as well. Barton Pereira frames are expertly crafted with an extensive amount of polishing applied to each frame, which means that they just look classy. Simplistically classy, but classy nonetheless. Now, another big trend in the eyewear space is crystal. And a lot of people come to me saying, I want a crystal frame. Of course, there are, again, thousands of different crystal styles, but the one that I always come back to that I say is a go-to crystal frame that you, again, can't go wrong with is the Anglo-American Optical 426. Anglo-American Optical are a brand from London who have been making glasses here in the UK for more than 100 years. I think it's closer to 150 years. So they're one of the oldest eyewear brands in the world, but they're also one of the most undiscovered. The quality is good, for the price because these are really good value frames as well and that's one benefit of Anglo-American Optical. They use a reasonably high quality acetate that I think is sourced from China to keep the cost down. Good quality vintage style five barrel hinges, very similar in quality to the Barton Pereira hinges. And as you could see, the party trick with these frames is the attachable sun clip, which gives them even more of a vintage vibe. Anglo-American Optical, because they have that history behind them, they are the experts at vintage styles. Nothing says vintage like an old-fashioned clip-on, but because this is made for the frame, they do work really well together, and it's great having a frame that can work equally as an optical and as a sunglass. But in crystal, you can see that it is just kind of the default crystal frame. It's again, not too round, not too square. You're going to hear me say that a lot because that is a feature of glasses that are not going to be too far in one direction. You know, frames that are overly square, frames that are overly round, tend to be more specific to the kind of person that they can suit. 
but shapes like this tend to work for pretty much anybody. And the 426 works for pretty much anybody. Even if it's your first foray into crystal, you really can't go wrong. Pair this with a slight blue tint to make it perfect. Add the sun clip, you've got a great pair of sunglasses as well. What more could you want from a pair of crystal glasses? Now, I mentioned that there are different ends of the spectrum in terms of shapes, you know, from square to round. And a lot of people are wanting to get into rounder glasses nowadays. And they might have always had square glasses or worse still, rectangular glasses. Going from a rectangle to a round can be a really difficult transition. And a lot of people therefore say, you know, what's a round frame that I can wear that is not gonna to be too round? Well, the Huxley by Walter and Herbert is the perfect choice. You'll see it is a round frame at first glance, but when I wear it, you'll notice it isn't that round. It's not a circle. It's definitely more round than it is square, but it's not too round. And that means it's a great choice for someone wanting to get into round glasses and have the first pair of round frames where it's not gonna to be too crazy, not too quirky, not too adventurous. I feel like blues like this are pretty wearable. Obviously it's not gonna be for everyone. And I think you can get this frame in black as well if you want the completely neutral choice. But I picked the blue just to show you how wearable a color like this can be. Some people might be put off by the thought of a color, especially as they're everyday glasses that they need to match with all outfits. But colors like dark blues like this and dark greens are actually super versatile and you should definitely consider it as your everyday pair of glasses. Walter and Herbert, again, an English brand. These are made here in the UK. And I just think that British fashion is very classic, very traditional, where it's not too cutting edge and therefore not too quirky and not too out there. Brands like JF Ray that I've featured here on the channel, brands like McLaren, brands like LA Eyeworks, they're really pushing the boundaries of what eyewear style is all about. And as much as I love those brands and I think they're amazing, they're certainly not for everybody. Whereas something like this, you can wear easily. Anybody can wear this frame. It's an easy style that still looks cool. And that is something that's actually quite hard to achieve, but all of these frames do achieve that. And not least the Huxley. Now, last of all, a lot of people again are looking for their first pair of rimless frames. And you have to be very careful with rimless because it can be a really old fashioned look. But if you want glasses that are as minimalistic as possible, that disappear, Flare is the brand to consider first. I'm not saying it's the only good rimless brand out there. There are quite a few, and it's not necessarily the one that I would recommend for everyone, but it is a frame that you just can't go wrong with. This is the 693. We have made this for people of all ages, all different lens shapes from completely round to hexagonal to custom shapes like you saw me wearing at the start of the video. We've done it all with this frame with beautiful custom tints as well. And it is just a blank canvas upon which you can paint your perfect pair of glasses. You can add any shape, any size, any tint, any prescription, and it will kind of mold to what you want them to be. The frame itself, of course, is barely there. This is the world's lightest frame at just 2.2 grams. It's incredibly light. It's unbelievably light to the point where you can't feel them on your face. And not only that, these are very low maintenance as well. Flare frames are very durable, not just because of the manufacturing quality, but the material choice, which is called BioSteel, which is super flexible. As you can see, I did hyperextend that and I managed to pop out the joint, but it just popped straight back in. So that's a great example of how low maintenance they are. But the main thing that's special about Flare is not the flexibility and quality of the material, but the innovation of the drill points. You see, usually the point where the frame meets the lens on a rimless frame is a weak spot. These are super durable at the drill points and that's thanks to a proprietary system for mounting the frames to the lenses, which uses a nylon thread. That gives these tremendous elasticity, not just in the frame material itself, but the actual joints are elastic as well. So having a reliable pair of rimless glasses is half the battle, to be honest, because that is a big concern for a lot of people. But then also having glasses that are just the stereotypical quintessential rimless frame that almost disappears. I think Flair absolutely nailed it with the 693. It's a cool rimless style that could be worn by anyone. And that's it. I hope you found this video interesting. It's a fairly quick video today because it's a fairly simple premise. These glasses, any of these glasses, whatever look you're going for, you can't go wrong. Which pair do you like best? And do you think you could wear each of these five pairs of glasses? I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts, so leave those in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. It means that you join a growing community of eyewear enthusiasts and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.